Okay, so let's see how much you know about polynomial multiplication. So the problem is y plus 1 times 3y squared plus 4y plus 1. Now, if you think you know the answer, go ahead and put that into the comment section. I'll show you the correct solution in just one second. Then, of course, I'm going to show you exactly how to solve this problem step by step in about seven minutes. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at the correct answer. The correct answer is the following. 3y cubed plus 7y squared plus 5y plus 1. All right, now, if you got that right, well, you definitely get a happy face and an A+. Plus. And if you're like, uh, Mr. YouTube Math Man, I forgot how to do this. Can you help me out? Well, I definitely can. Okay, so there's actually different ways you can do this problem. But uh, I'm going to show you a particular technique, which I think is the easiest way to do polynomial multiplication. All right, so here is how it works. So you're going to focus on the polynomial to the left. So in this case, we have y plus 1, and we want to focus in right here. Now, what we want to do is look at the first term in this polynomial. That is y. So now we're going to think of this as a distributive property kind of problem. So you're going to take this y, and you're going to multiply it by all these terms in the other polynomial. So that's going to be y times 3y squared then y times 4y, and then y times 1. So you're going to put your answers right there. All right, now, once you're done with that, you need to shift over to the next term in the polynomial, and in this case, we have a 1. And you're just going to continue this procedure until you are finished. But what we need to do is take this 1 and also use the distributive property. So this is going to be 1 times 3y squared. We'll put that right there. Then 1 times 4y, we'll put that right there. And then 1 times 1. We'll put the answer right there. Okay, so once you're done doing that, you're going to add up any like terms, and you will be done. Okay, so if you think you understand this procedure, maybe you want to go ahead and pause the video, but uh, let's go ahead and take a look at the work right now. All right, so pretty straightforward problem. So we're going to start with this y, right? So we have a binomial times a trinomial. So we're going to take this y, and we're going to multiply it by 3y squared. So y times 3y squared is 3y cubed. Now we have y times 4y, that is 4y squared. And then y times 1 is y. All right, now we're going to shift over to our 1. So we have 1 times 3y squared. We'll put that underneath this y squared because these are like terms. Then we're going to have 1 times 4y, so we'll put that right there. So we have a 4y underneath this y. Again, these are like terms. And then 1 times 1 of course, is 1. All right, so all we have to do now is add like terms. So this is pretty straightforward. So we have 3y cubed. This is going to be the uh, leading term because we have no other y cubed. So we have 3y cubed plus we have 2y squared. So these two here are like terms. So 4y squared plus 3y squared is 7y squared. So this is what comes next. And then we have 1y plus 4y. Of course, that is 5y plus 1. All right, so this is the answer. And again, there's different uh, kind of methods or approaches to uh, doing polynomial multiplications, but or polynomial multiplication. But um, pretty much all of these techniques are based on the distributive property. All right, but uh, if you got this right, that is fantastic. And uh, let's go ahead and uh, finish up the video by looking at this. So if this little video helped you out, well, that is fantastic. Consider helping me out because I want to reach as many people as possible on YouTube. And I can't do that unless I get people like yourself to subscribe to my channel. And if you're going to do that, hit that bell notification. Now, what we're talking about here is algebra, right? Of course, polynomial multiplication. And if you want to learn more about this topic or just in, you know, algebra in general, Check out these two courses. I'm going to leave links to those in the description of this video. And that is my Algebra 1 and Algebra 2 course. All right, or course is. All right, so hopefully this little video helps you out. If that is the case, again, don't forget to like and subscribe. And with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your math adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.